being drawn, and this week the individuals go head to head against the bus stop walls. Uh huh. Also, we got an audience who are still shocked from last night's nomination reveal. Indeed, at Carly versus Dogface versus Siavash versus Norin. Who would have thought it? Maybe this man. He's our undercover brother, undercover brother from another mother. It's Donald McIntyre, everybody. <laughs> I want to say thank you to Donald for, for dressing up tonight. He made a real effort. It's beautiful. Thank you very much. Uh, also, she's the self-proclaimed UK's premier and only rumpologist. It's Sam Amos, everybody. <laughs> rumpology. That's bums. That's bums. He's going to talk about them in a bit. Plus, uh, Michelle, Frederico, Mercosi and Craig are here talking tough and letting you in on a massive BBLB exclusive. But before any of that, it's time to find out what impact the nominations have had on the House and if Marcus can keep himself in check, I doubt it. It's BBLB News 25. BBLB News 25, 24 hour news and then some. Right, let's dive straight into the day's huge stories from the House set. The Marcus Noreen one way love affair continues at 7.33 last night. After being nominated, she had nobody other than the big man to confide in. And yet again, he mistook her signals as a come on. I'm not really a cuddle person. You could do it to make me happy. Don't try to use that one on me. I'd be so happy, Norman. No, Marcus. Oh, but it'd make me so happy, Norman. No. Right. No, no, fair enough. I'll just be sad over it. No, You're fair enough. Friend. Fair enough. No, that's fair enough. What a creep, huh? What a creep. Next up in the wee small hours this morning, Siavesh and Marcus, after covering every talking point over the last six weeks, moved on to the subject of ladies. Well, well, I'd be lying if I said it was quiet, but then I do like to just get one girl, a nice girl, and just give her not a moment's peace. Oh, lucky lady, eh? <laughs> and finally, the anniversary task rolled on when at 1.45pm today, renowned singer Dogface went face-to-face -face with her very own ex-housemate in another classic task. Housemates, for Dogface Challenge, she must take attempt to sing the hymn Pai Jisoo. Oh, it's Michelle. It's Michelle. As performed on Big Brother 5 against an ex-housemate from that year. It's Michelle. Uh, Michelle <laughs> 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 And let me tell you, lucky people are going to be seeing how she did a bit later on. It is beautiful. And that's the BBLB News 25. BBLB News 25, 24 hour news and then some. Joining me now are four of Big Brother's most memorable housemates. They are here to take the task in hand. Please welcome BB6's Craig and McCosey, BB4's Federico, and BB5's Michelle. <laughs> How are we doing, gang? Yeah, great. Fantastic. Lovely to see you all here. Uh, Michelle, tell us how Big Brother changed your life. Amazing. It was crazy in there. It was brilliant. <laughs> right, OK, but has it been different since you've come out? How's it changed your How life? How's it changed my life? Amazingly so. Yeah, everything's different since I come out of Big Brother. Brilliant. Thank you for clearing that up, Michelle. That's fantastic <laughs> insight. Nice. Uh, what do you think of the current crop of housemates, Federico? George, I promised you an insightful and uh, irreverent answer to this question, but I, can, I have to be sincere. I haven't watched this, an episode of Big Brother in five years' time. Oh. Since the last time I was paid to uh, do, again, irreverent witty comments, which I couldn't do at all, and I was sacked from a position, hence the reason I no longer watch Big Brother. Right, this is a big anti-climax so far. Right, okay. George, <laughs> I'm sorry. McCosey and Craig, please tell me you've got something interesting to say. You went into the house, right? Well, I'm or, going into the house. Or you're the house. going into the house, rather, sorry. And yeah. I'll be in a box with Shearbass. Am I in the box with him? No. Well, I'm in the box next to him. Not with yeah. him. Oh, thank God for that. Nobody <laughs> has any idea what is going on. <laughs> OK, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be clear. seeing that a little bit later on. You're going in yeah. after BBLB, I believe. You were in earlier, Federico. I was indeed, sir. OK. Do I'm you... aware of this. Okay, I was this is in good. there in my own self, yeah. containing my own body. Mm. Uh, you, were, you were dressed up, you were kind of half I was dressed man, up, half horse. I, I was hoping it would be like a kind of senator. Yep. Centre uh, caution, but instead okay. I looked like a mentally okay. ill person. And you were you were running around yes. with Noreen, you were you were the, doing yes, a kind of I'm gym. on the left, Noreen yeah. looked quite graceful yeah. and athletic. I look mentally ill. Losing the you name. Can't see me. Yes. Yeah. Uh, voting. How, how were you doing? Was it a difficult contest? Uh, she, I would imagine she's quite athletic. Uh, she, she's, she, 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 she's the better of me in the athletic context. Oh, she's very competitive. And, uh, I, I believe she... Uh, how long ago did you do this, Federico? 
a matter of hours ago. Really? And I'm still out of breath as right, well. OK, well, we're going to find out who, uh, <laughs> who won that part of the challenge. Uh, Michelle. Yeah. We saw we got a little bit of a snip there. You went head-to-head -head with Dogface, right? Yes. Shall we see how Michelle did? Let's do Beautiful. it. Beautiful. Let's, Let's have a go. Don't you think? Did it all come flooding back? Well, obviously I did. I did it differently last time, but uh, yeah, yeah, I give it a go at the. Have you been practicing in the in the last couple of years? I listened a little bit last night, but I'm not a singer, babes. But that's no. my best. Never, so. never. I don't believe you for a second. <laughs> Are you doing yourself down, girl? I did girl? wonderfully. I did wonderfully. Yeah, of course you did. Uh, should we have a look at how Dogface did, everybody? Yeah. Let me tell you, this is a classic. You're going to love it. Have a listen. He a i do. I don't blame her. I thought it was Pie Jesus. So. Yeah, she's yep. absolutely diabolical. Yes. Was she genuine? You were stood there. You were yeah. watching. You must have yeah. been in awe. Well, no, she was like, I think it's Pie Jesus. I was like, I think it's, a, you know, I used to think it was the same. I thought she was going to do kind of like an R&B twist on it, but no. Right, no, she no, definitely she didn't. didn't do that. No. Uh, OK, well, this is where it uh, gets nasty, everybody. Big Brother would like you guys at home to judge whose performance was better, Michelle or Dogface. Who do you think, guys? Dogface. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're a fickle bunch, this lot. Uh, well, listen, it's not down to you guys. We want you at home to log on to Big Brother's website and vote for the rendition that moves you the most. The web poll is open now. Voting closes at 9 a.m. on Thursday, so get on it. Uh, Michelle, do you, uh, do you want to give us a little plea, maybe to that camera, about why, uh, why they should let you win? P.I.Z.O. Quitali. Pegged on Monday, vote for me, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was pretty impressive. Fantastic. Uh, Craig Fantastic. and McCosey, when was the last time you saw each other, by the way? Uh, a couple on of weeks On the quiz, ago? yeah, on the Big Brother quiz. Yeah. Oh, right, right, OK. You, are you still hanging out? You still buddies? Oh, yeah, yeah we do. Yeah, we get on. Faking it for sure, like for sure, <laughs> for sure. Frederica, what do you make of Nori? Because I know you, you had a you had a kind of similar situation in the house. What do you make of uh, she uh, of Nori's whole thing with Marcus? Of the ten minutes that I spent with Noreen, um, she seemed like a, an earnest human being. I must say, right? She, okay. she, she, she seemed like a lovely girl, you know. But she's uh, got you hooked. She's got me hooked yeah. already. Like everybody else. She everybody seems to fall. She was she's like does. with the guys. Oh, right. Yes, totally. yes it's true. I'm and it's worked to him because ever already. since I was with him in the dressing room, yeah. it's yeah. Noreen, Noreen, Noreen. Yeah, exactly. Really? He's like, Noreen, I think right, she's, she's flirting with me. She's got a real spell. Me. She just seems to cast on everybody, Frederica. Yeah. Did you think she was flirting with you? No. Yeah, no. she did, didn't you? Oh, okay. uh, Craig, who, uh, <laughs> who do you think is going to go out on Friday? Um, I don't really know. Oh, all of them, hopefully. It's not going to happen <laughs> like that, Craig. You know it doesn't work like that. Uh, yeah, get, get rid what, of them. What kind of housemates? Because they're going to bring some new housemates in. What kind of housemates do you think would really spice things up? Um, ones with personalities. I think real house. <laughs> oh, it's a bit below the belt, wasn't it, Craig? <laughs> Conjoined lesbian twins. Oh, What's yeah. that? Sorry. Conjoined Eww. lesbian twins. I, I don't think spicy. that's going to happen, Frederico. This, that's a different show, mate. I'm afraid. <laughs> uh, good luck. Uh, good luck to you guys. A little bit later on in the house. Big thank you to all of them. So, still to come, Donald McIntyre will be going undercover in the house. And if you loved it when Carly said this, wherever you be, let your wind go free. What does that mean? Wherever you are, wherever you be, let your wind go free. What a lady. Uh, then you are going to be blown away when I meet the UK's only rumpologist. We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Welcome back to BBLB. It's 6.12. But let me tell you, we've got some breaking news. Somebody, somebody has got rather a big mouth. Have a look at this. Who is this impression of? Oh. <laughs> Michael Jackson? Yes. Did you hear about him? <laughs> no. Oh, you passed away. You had a cardiac arrest. Oh, don't tell me that. I'm not meant to know anything. That's all right. OK. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> 
And Michael Jackson's dead. Ooh, well done. On um, Thursday, um, Michael Jackson died. Wow. <gasps> what? Oh, oh yeah, no. So. Federico, did make the <laughs> What are you doing, you idiot? You and weren't meant to tell anybody anything. I was announcing the death of the King of Pop. Everyone should you, know. No, the, listen. The Earth won't tell well, Big Brother decides. George. Big Brother decides What's what they that? should know. Idiot, idiot, idiot. Right. Joining <laughs> me now uh, is mess. a man who needs no introduction. The housemates have said it all. I remember watching um, McIntyre undercover, and he went undercover with, with Chelsea, football hooligans. He's got a tattoo still now. Chelsea lads were all after him because he filmed undercover fights. Got all these blokes locked up and he had to go into hiding for like two and a half years. And now he's done a dan dancing on ice. I hope they won't notice me. <laughs> That's right, Chris. It's Donald McIntyre, everybody. Hello, sir. How are you? All right. Thank you. And now, Donald, you have infiltrated some of the most notorious gangs in the world, right? And now the gangs are And now they get. How, how do you think our ones match up? Well, no, no pistols, no nine millimeters. A lot of uh, psychological warfare. I know, I know. Yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's been a big kind of line drawn between Lisa and Nori now. They are not getting on. Two very strong, confident females, right? Two big mafia clans there. You don't want to be caught in the middle, and you don't want to cross sides. If you, uh, well, what about Rodrigo? What do you think is going to happen to him? Well, I think where's he, he going to fall? Just stay neutral. Really? You yeah. think that's like Switzerland? Yeah, exactly. Right, OK, just sitting there. He's got the right colours on, the old white and red. Uh, if, you, if you had to kind of go on either side, wh which side would you pump for? I think I've got to be with the alpha male female Lisa, because uh, really? you know that she's going to protect your back. You know, I think she's the scariest person in the house, so I want her on my so you, side. Do, do we agree with that, guys? Yeah. Yes! Uh, now, no, right, there's someone who's not scared over there. Now, Noreen, Carly, yeah. Lisa and Marcus, I believe, they received all the nominations. Yeah. Fairly kind of strong characters in the house. If one of them is to go or, you know, or does go in the next few weeks, how do you think that's going to react on the, on the whole kind of gang mentality? Well, if, if Lisa goes, obviously it's very significant. Uh, for Marcus, if Marcus goes, um, for the individuals, I don't think it would make much of a difference. They're a collective, but he's, uh, he's not quite as strong as Lisa. Right, OK. But he is, uh, in my mind, yeah. anyway, he's, he's definitely an alpha man. I want to look at both the alpha males in the house. Uh, Lisa and Marcus, OK? Uh, I've actually been doing a little bit of, uh, of undercover work myself, uh, and I've got some confidential files here, as you can see. Here's Marcus's file. Uh, is there anything you really want to know about Mark? Oh, wow. Oof. I didn't know that about him. <laughs> anything you really want to know about him? Well, I don't want to hear about his love life. That, I no, that, definitely no, don't no, want to no, hear no. about I, that. I don't think it's a very long story anyway. Uh, let's, let's talk about maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe the 100-man karate challenge. Yes. Yeah? Very suspicious. Do we remember him giving it the Barry about this one? Have a look at this, guys. I did a thing at karate where you have to fight 100 people, like, in a row, and it took, like, four hours and 20 minutes. When I finished, I'd gone through so many layers of skin on my feet that, I kid you not, there was almost bones coming through underneath my feet. And for, like, about four days afterwards, I had to crawl everywhere, cos even if I felt air on my feet, it was just murder. It was, like, lava and broken glass being shoved right in. Can you imagine air on the broken feet, yeah. the lava and yeah. broken glass? Do you really think he fought 100 ninjas? He's straight from the script-writing team of Lost. He's it's out of his mind, isn't he? Brilliant. Brilliant. Excellent. Very creative man. Well, I can tell you, actually, uh, that the 100-man uh, the kumite, or kumite, I think it's called, consists of 100 rounds against 100 opponents. Our, uh, our researchers spoke to Steve Arnill, the first man to take part in the kumite in 1965, and he said it's never been won by an mm. Englishman. And to compete, you have to be chosen by the top masters. We did find out, though, that Wolverine once took part in a comic book adventure. So perhaps Marcus has blurred the lines between fact and fiction, unless he truly is Wolverine, guys, OK? Uh, do you feel betrayed? I'm very upset. I was counting on him being my permanent bodyguard. We, post we all Big feel Brother. pretty betrayed, don't we, huh? Can't believe that was a lie. Uh, do you think him and uh, I mean, what, what's going to happen between him and Nori? No chance. No, no it's not. Chance. Well, and, and I mean, no seriously chance. though, you know, as a kind of you know, probably you know, you're fractionally older than Marcus. If you could yeah. kind of sit him down and say, listen, I'm a man of the world. I've you know, I've met a few ladies in my yeah. time. Uh, perhaps you know, what what would you tell him? Perhaps it's this. I wouldn't say anything. He's uh, that kind of. Um, Dislocation from reality is far too much fun for us. Really, right? Yeah. Okay, so you just let him carry on, okay. embarrassing himself, right? Okay. Next up, uh, we've got uh, Lisa, who's Donald's uh, as branded the scariest woman on earth. Uh, let's have a little uh, let's have a little look at uh, Lisa there. She's got a tattoo. She's got plenty of tattoos actually. But what do you think that tattoo is there? 
Wow, it looks like a cross between a chicken and a pig. Yes, well, it's a very, very popular tattoo, the chicken pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a Chelsea tattoo myself. I might indeed. Get the old chicken pig yeah. over it. Yeah, beside yeah. it. Maybe. Right, okay, yeah. real nice. Yeah. They look really nice again. But I can tell you, it's not a chicken pig, unfortunately. Uh, the tattoo on her head is an American bald eagle, uh, which she had done when she was around 22 years old. But she doesn't regret that at all now. The tattooist uh, was Jake, who also did the tattoos on her leg, which are equally nice. Okay. Uh, she's got 28 tattoos altogether, and is this year's most tattooed housemate, huh? <laughs> Right, so uh, what's going to happen, Don? Obviously, you know, she's a powerhouse uh, in there over in the bungalow, but, but when are they going to put her up? When are they just going to finally say, you know what, I've had enough of you, you're too much, you've got too much power, when are they going to push her out? How well, do gangs discard of their, of their leaders? Well, I think, well, I, I love the fact that the audience in this series are keeping characters like Lisa in, because in previous years, I think, uh, she'd have been voted out. Uh, I want her to be in as long as possible, because she's great, uh, great uh, material. But do you not fighter. think she's a bit domineering? Yeah, but that, that's entertaining. You know, it's scary. I mean, I cross my legs when I'm watching the show and she's on, yeah. She's, I saw her rubbing her belly. Um, that was real nice. That was, she actually did that live on this show. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real... And I thought, yeah, and I love those little vignettes on the show. It feels like a kind of wildlife show. Yeah. And, uh, it is uh, kind of. It is a bit of yeah. that, yeah. Was there a little and, uh, bit of you that wanted to get in there and stroke the belly? Let me tell you, not a chance. No, no it's, not, it's, it's not a particularly nice belly, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, all right, Donald, well, let's give him a big round of applause. Uh, Donald's staying with us. <laughs> He's going off to the camera runs right now, though, to celebrate Big Brother's birthday week. We have condensed an entire series into a beautiful candle-shaped nugget. This is Big Brother 2 in 60 seconds. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know what she was Clothes are OK. Shame about the face. He's got a good body and he's fish. Well, what can I say? Now look, Penny, I think you're totally quiet. It's just not like camera. He's going on the camera. I don't mind. Leave! Oh, I tell you what, you should look at it. Smack a word. I ain't being in a chicken thing. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Bubble, hold me! I've lived my adult life like an international pop star. <laughs> Thank you very much for sharing this night with me, superb ding dong. Yeah. Brian! I'm going home! Now, if you I think you know Big Brother, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's our Uber fan finalist. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> Shawnee, it's been a week since you're on the show, mate. It has. Do you think you can do it? I'm confident. I'm really? Confident. How's the whole local celebrity thing working out for you? Shawnee's a big name in his hometown now, let me tell you. <laughs> Everyone talks about me and Catherine. It's, cool. it's unbelievable. Of course they do, of course they do. Jacob, how are you uh, feeling, mate? You were uh, bossing, I think it was Friday, wasn't it? Yeah, Friday. I yeah. got Dale out of nowhere. Don't know how. I know, but, yeah. just plucked it. Bit of genius from yeah. deep within there. I'm starting to think I'm a big brother genius. Who yeah, knows? no, well, you, uh, let's hope you are this let's evening. Hope, yes. Paul, how are you feeling, mate? You were bossing it Sunday. I'm all right, a bit nervous. <laughs> really? OK, do you think you got what it takes to beat these two? I hope so, it's just... Best of luck out of everyone now. <laughs> oh, best of luck. That's great. Uh, that's great kind of... Uh, I can't think chivalry is the word I'm looking for. <laughs> right, uh, we have met them. Uh, it can mean only one thing, everybody. Live from yep. Boreham Wood, it's the George Lamb Quiz of the Decade. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be sad to see this go, guys. Uh, each of the finalists will answer ten questions on Big Brother. They've each been allocated a different series, and to make sure it was random and above board, we got BB Golden Ticket winner Susie Varico to draw them each a specialist year. Take a look at this. The Quiz of the Decade finalist number one will be answering questions on... Big Brother 9. The Quiz of the Decade finalist number two will be answering questions on... Big Brother 3. The quiz of the decade, finalist number three, will be answering questions on... Big Brother 1.
That's right, Uber finalists. Uh, Sean, you were given question uh, question nine. Uh, sorry, question uh, series number nine. Uh, Jacob, you were given questions about series number three. And Paul, your topic series number one, my friend. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who well? Uh, who's? Uh, it doesn't get any better than this, does it, guys? No? My eyesight started to let me down for some reason. I can't read the autocue now. <laughs> uh, earlier on, we sent the Uber fans up to the house where they were quizzed on their chosen year by Big Brother in the diary room. <laughs> how about that? How about that? They had no idea how they did. They will be finding out, uh, and you'll find out in a short while. Prepare yourself for some shocking results for seeing three. <laughs> Donal is up in the camera runs. What on earth is going on, Donal? Well, I feel like I feel like David Attenborough here yeah. in the Virunga Mountains, looking at the wildlife, some gorillas. But we don't have any gorillas. We have uh, crouching tigers, sleeping ninjas. Oh Marcus yeah, of course. Is there. <laughs> yeah, he's there, and there's no hint of the uh, karate and uh, the uh, bloody martial feats. arts. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. we have. That's because uh, he was making it up, Donal. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I. I um, we saw the file. Now, we where's, know. We, I, I thought McCosey might be in doing the box task with Craig. Is that happening? Well, I can't see that, but I see out in the garden, I see the girls cheerleading there. I can't hear them, but they're... Right, OK. Are they, are they actually doing a task, or are they just having a nice time? I think they're having a nice time. OK, they look, they look nice... real good. Yeah, I they're like looking that. good. Yeah, the, it's certainly a better uh, attempt at cheerleading than singing, we heard earlier. I know, that I was think. shocking, yeah, wasn't it? Was, it? Yeah. Are, you, uh, are you just buzzing off the, the sheer energy that's coming from the house at the moment? <laughs> They're just all... resonating across you, Donal. <laughs> it's electric, oh. nuclear-powered. I think... Uh... Must be like the final of Dancing on Ice, Donal. Oh, you yeah. wouldn't know what that feels like, would you? Oh, well... Oh. <laughs> I did what a night. To... Take I... care, Donal. Thanks very Pleasure. much, mate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right now, though, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for... Live from Bournemouth, <laughs> it's the George Lang Wizard Detective. So earlier on, we revealed that Uber fan Sean would be answering questions on BB9 at 1 p.m. today. He went up to the dining room where Big Brother asked him a series of questions. But before we reveal how he got on, we've got a little surprise for you, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome BB9's Luke. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Offensive. Uh, now Luke isn't copying my uh, my latest fashion thing with the leg up. He's actually got an electric buzzer on his leg. All right, sit yourself down, Lukey. You remember those from last series? Just a bit. Of course <laughs> you do. And uh, now for every question that Sean gets wrong, guess what's going to happen, guys? Damn right he is. Damn right he is. Okay, there's ten questions. <laughs> He's bound to get some wrong. Uh, okay, let's go over to the Big Brother house. Hello, Sean. You are Big Brother. How are you? Your specialist subject is Series 9. It is. Your time starts now. Question 1. What was Mohammed's surname? You got this. Got... What do you mean, no? Pass. Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's got a... Mohammed! Uh, I'm afraid it was Mohammed, yeah? Luke knew that. Next question. <laughs> Question two. <laughs> what was the name of the divide that was put in the house by Big Brother? Heaven and hell. Oh, thank God. Oh, I got it right. Good news, yes. <laughs> Question three. On what day did the housemates select their first head of house? Day 63. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Why is it going on? So, because I'm doing it. It's day 38. <laughs> oh. Which housemate came third? Oh, Sarah. Came Sarah. third was. Sarah. You know it. You know it. Sarah. Bam. Oh. Now, dear. Two in the bag. Come on, Shawnee. Come Stuart's on, Sean. Surname. Stuart's surname. surname. Pelkington. I thought. <laughs> 
Doesn't look good. <laughs> no, pass. No! Oh! No! Oh! 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 A little bit more. No, no, A little George. bit more. Stop, I got no, sick. It was Pilkington. Pilkington, next question. Question six. Who did Luke and Lisa get him a to identify in an ID parade? Rex's girlfriend <laughs> and Mohammed's brother. <laughs> oh, that helps, that helps. Question seven. <laughs> Stephanie auditioned to be a oh. member of which girl band? Girls Aloud. Nailing it! Who said their favourite noise was the sound of dogs barking? Oh. Um. Go easy, George. Darnell. Oh! No! No! It was Rachel Rice, everybody. Of course it was. What was Dale's phobia? Oh! Dale's phobia. Um. Spiders? Oh, oh what do you say? Moths? Oh, I can see, look, he's getting a rash or something. Right, next question. What kind of chilli did Mikey <laughs> oh. eat and that sent him Doesn't over the edge? well, Sean's turned away. The Scotch bonnet? I, uh, I can't remember the name, Big Brother. It was uh, when the hot, really hot, spicy ones. George, I'll give you money. You ain't got I can't remember. That's true. <laughs> oh! Got it wrong, what a nightmare. Scotch Bonnie it was. Sean scored four points, everybody. Bob <laughs> a bit round the floors as well. Uh, find out later if that will be enough to take the crown of Quizzer of the Decade. Now, over this series, we've spoken to a host of highbrow experts like doctors and therapists, but we still don't have a clue what's going on in the housemates' heads. Waste of time, you say. So today, we've gone for someone a little more qualified. It's our rompologist, Sam Amos, everybody. <laughs> Hello, Sam. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Sam, let's, uh, let's get to the bottom of this, Sam. Come on, guys. Let's get to the bottom of this. It's brilliant. Uh, what, what exactly is a rompologist? Well, a rompologist is a person that looks at the bottom, the shape of the bottom, the, the lines, the crevices, warts, moles, everything. Really, the whole picture, basically. Whole you just picture. You, you, you take it, you scan it into your mind, and then you tell us what's going to happen That's from correct. it. That's correct. Where do you learn a thing like this? I've never seen it kind of up, you know, in the UCAS forms and all the rest of it. Well, I studied for it, but I also use my gift of intuition. Got a gift, right. I, yes. I figured you, you probably did have a gift. Right, now, uh, there's also a former Big Brother contestant, celebrity contestant, Jackie Stallone. Yeah, I'm Jackie. Who, uh, who, was a, who was a rumpologist. That's correct. Do you, what, what do you think of her work? Oh, well, she was the maverick of our rumpologists, wasn't she? She started to make it sort of more well-known. OK, would you, would you allow Jackie to inspect your bottom? Why not? Really? Have, <laughs> yeah. you, ever, have you ever had your... Well, here's Jackie Stallone, everybody! No, no, I'm only kidding, I'm only kidding. So she's not really here. Uh, Jess, <laughs> Jess, you couldn't afford it. We wanted to do it, couldn't afford it. Uh, would, would you like someone to inspect your bottom? <laughs> No. <laughs> right, but you don't mind inspecting ours? No. Right, OK. Mind. Right, I'll see how this works. <laughs> We've got a crank on the firm, everybody. Right, let's get over here uh, for some booty action. This is our astrology chart. Thank you. Put yourself down there, lovely. Right. Uh, which, uh, which ass is underneath our first loose seat? Let's get it up. Oh, my ass. Oh, my ass. Oh, it's Carly's ass, right? Uh, talk us through... There's a gentleman over there who likes it rather a lot. Uh, talk us through this bum. What does this tell us about Carly? Well, with Carly, uh, her right cheek tells me that she's always looking forward, always basically trying to be the best of the best. Um, her left cheek tells me that she's very short fuse, can take things to heart. What, what is it about the left cheek that well, tells you she's short fuse? Well, it's just all this kind of bit here. Right, yeah, and I thought... That, as I saw it, I thought there's a lady with a short fuse. Absolutely. I see, I see why you... Well, you picked that out. Anything else you can tell from it? Also, with the right cheek, because of this bit up here, yeah. um, she's very close to her family, although she must argue with someone very close, a lady. I don't know if this is mum or sister, but it just feels arguments fiction there. Oh, very good. So she argues a lot. Yes. You sure you haven't been watching it for the last six no. weeks? Yeah, right, OK. Uh, next up, whose bottom, of, whose bottom is it anyway? Oh, oh yes. I quite like... Oh, mm. hold up. I, got a bit, I feel a little bit dirty now. I saw the sequins and I, and I, was, I was up for it and then it was half wits and now I just feel bad. Uh, right, talk us through this bum. A little bit saggy. Well, it is saggy, but with half wit, I mean, what do you expect? 
Um, with half with uh, his left side cheek here, yes. under the cheek, um, means that he's not had much luck where la the ladies are concerned. Right, OK. Um, but he, always... he's, he's, up, he's, just, he's generally up for it, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. Does the right I mean, cheek says he, when he you likes look the boys? At, or... the top of his left cheek, he's definitely up for anything, really. Right, okay. um, his right cheek, um, certain line here, uh, that the right cheek's not so nice. Seems a bit higher than the left cheek, actually. Well, what that, does that tell you about a person? That's because he's, he's aiming high and he wants to make an impression. And, aiming and high, brilliant. <laughs> uh, basically, with his right cheek, he, he tends to he's, listen, he's taking on board what everybody's saying and trying to tone his kind of character down, if you like. Right. Okay. Let's have a little look at our final uh, bum. Kiss my oh, sweet ass. Oh, nice. See a vest, his hairy bum. Is it a problem when there's so much hair there? Is it, is it more problematic to read? No, you look beyond that. Right, OK. But with see a vest, um, see, he is outgoing, as we all know, but with his left cheek, and I'm looking at the upper left, he tends to... Um, he takes words to heart, so if somebody said something, it really would cut him to the heart, to the core of the matter. Um, his, left, his, his right cheek, when I'm looking at the far right of the cheek, he tends to, he's, he's a bit kind of insecure, he puts like a bit of bravado on. What on earth is telling you about from his right cheek that he's got a lot of bravado? Surely the clobber and the hat and the eye makeup's the giveaway and the big moustache that goes like that. That's the bit that says bravado, not his right bum cheek. <laughs> no, but you see, he hides behind a mask, see of Ash, and basically, if you got to know the real person, which I feel we will do before the end All of right. the series, he's very sensitive and let's, he's let's very... Get, can we get Donald then? We know enough about him anyway. Get in, Donald, come in. <laughs> right, Donald. Well, let's see your bum. Maybe you don't have to bear it for no, us. You, you'll forgive me if I keep my trousers on. What, what, can you, what can you tell about that bum there? Well, Donald's got um, a square bum. Yeah. And basically, Lucky man. Flat, flat square bottom. Yeah. Um, very confident in himself. Uh, aims high. Always looks forward. And I feel you must be starting something uh, for yourself up as well as doing your sort of career that you're doing. Something kind of a project. You've got some other projects on the go? <laughs> Yeah, a few, a few, He's yeah. He's going to become a rumpologist after yeah, today. Yeah, what do you think job. of this? Any well, good? with you, you've got to calm down a bit. You, you oh, tend yeah. to... Life's too hectic. Life's too damn and right. And you so... switch off. Yeah, I know, you're so right about that. You should that. meditate. I can't, I can't... I want to meditate. I want to meditate. Maybe we can meditate together afterwards. OK, yeah, Fantastic. definitely. All right, give her a big round of applause. <laughs> so, uh, Sam might find the housemate assets. Assets, very interesting, but there is certainly more to gnawing than just a great bum. Oh, yeah, she went ballistic when Siavas said that she was a rabbit. We loved it, you loved it, and we thought, let's see it again, but let's mix and matose it up a bit and do it at a bunny farm. Come on, it's better than that. People have been saying things about you. Like who? Like who? Like, like Chris! Have you been saying things about me? And you have repaid him! How? By with this spectacle of everyone turning against him. Get off the stage for a minute. What have I said about Nyrin? I haven't heard any of it, but I have no reason to doubt Steve Ash. You just said we were talking about him, but you weren't there. Because Steve Ash said it, and I have no reason to doubt his honesty whatsoever, but I have every reason to doubt your honesty. Whatever, halfwit. I say what I say. If you want to talk about lying and game playing, I'll say it even louder. You weren't even there. I was there. I wasn't there the exact moment they said those names, but I could have guessed it while I was in the toilet, cos it makes so much sense. You predicted it like you're a psychic. Well done. I'm not a psychic. I just have my eyes open. Listen, there is no reason for this conversation. Isn't that awful? <laughs> right now, though, it's time for... Live from Borewood, it's the George Lump. Yeah, 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 yeah. Round two, ladies and gentlemen. We saw Uber fan Sean answering questions on BB9. He scored a whopping four points. Oh. Not so good. Next up, Jacob, who was given BB3 earlier on. He went to the dining room. Uh, let's see who's your, uh, who your answers will be making a little bit uncomfortable. Please welcome BB3's Alison. Oh. Hello, my love. So we had three now. Uh, Alison, sit yourself <laughs> down. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm a bit nervous, but I'm feeling Jacob's done well. Really? Do you think he's nailed it, yeah? <laughs> I'm really nervous now. Are we, uh, are we ready to find out, everybody? <laughs> yeah. I have the buzzer in my pocket. I thought I had the buzzer in my pocket. I do have the buzzer in my pocket. <laughs> right, hey, uh, let's, go, uh, let's go to the house. Hello, Jacob. You're right, big brother. Jacob, 
Your special subject is series three. It is. Your time starts now. How many housemates entered on day one? Twelve eggs. Come on. Twelve? Please, you're joking. <laughs> it's twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven. Oh! Oh! I don't like it! Oh! 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 Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's after, after shocks, like an earthquake. Oh! Sorry. Oh my what god. What's the name of the divide placed in the house by Big Brother in week three? Rich and poor. <laughs> after how many days so did Sunita walk? Seven. Who celebrated their twenty-first birthday in the house? Jade Goody. <laughs> Which housemate was chosen to receive a phone call from home on day fifty-two? Tim. Nailing it. Who was Nailing it, Jacob. to be evicted from the house? Pressure's on. Sure. Pressure. Oh. Spencer. Yes. Which housemate received the most yes. nominations over the Sorry, series? I'm getting overexcited. Jacob's doing so well. <laughs> Alex. Yes. When so Jade so asked, am I minging, what was she talking about? A Veruca on her foot. Yes. 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 got a serious Uber fan here, guys. Which housemate went on to star as a gas man in a commercial? Johnny. Johnny, Regan. <laughs> what was Tim famously caught plucking under the duvet? His chest hairs. <laughs> Thank you, Jacob. You may now leave the diary room. Well, Thank you, me, brother. <laughs> uh, I'd like to do uh, I'd like to a big thank you to Alison for being such a great sport. Hey, Jacob scored nine, which means he is in the lead, but it's still all to play for. Still to come, we test Davina's housemate knowledge, and the winner of the Uber fan competition will be revealed. We'll see. Oh, I stopped down. I was trying to get her again. We'll see you then. <laughs>
Now, uh, wasn't she fantastic, guys? Hey? Looking hey. fabulous. Now, I believe you uh, you put her housemate knowledge to the test. Is that right? Absolutely. We collared Davina, sat her down, gave her 60 seconds, said name as many ex-housemates as you can. How many do you reckon she did in, in 60 seconds, guys? 30. Oh. 30. 30, they reckon. Let's have a look. Nick, Craig, Tom, Sophie, Nicola, Akagi, um, um, Brian... Oh, my God. Um, naked lawn mowing. Um, oh, my God, I can't remember her name. Um, Shell. Who was? Shell. 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 Um, well, Sharda. Sharda. 22, eh? 22. Impressive, McCall, but how couldn't you remember the likes of all oh, the original BB contestants, Andy Davidson and Sada Wilkinson, uh, or BB Force Justin Selman and Scott Turner and BB 8's David Parnaby, or more, of course, Gaetano, the South African half mate, uh, housemate who uh, swapped on BB4. Uh, you know what? You know, they're impressing. You're right to be. I know my stuff, guys, all right? Uh, a little bit better than your first attempt, eh? Is there, is there uh, anything else happening on the web? Lots of stuff. Now, most importantly today, PA Zoo, two videos went live. Michelle versus Dogface. What everyone's got to do is go to the website and vote woo or boo those videos. And, so we can get uh, up online. It's online right yeah. now. We can decide what happens. OK, thank you, Kate. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs> now, last Friday, Davina revealed that new blood will be going into the house in just three days, but someone still has to go. Who goes on Friday? You'll be deciding. To Vic Dogface, call 090-16-16-15. To Vic Carly, call 090-16-16-06. To Vic Noring, call 090-16-16-16-10. To Vic Sivas, call 090-16-16-16-13. Calls cost 35 people from a BT landline. Other networks may vary. Mobiles will cost considerably more. Details and terms at channel4.com forward slash big brother. Voting closes in Friday's eviction show. <laughs> this is it, guys. I can hardly believe it. It's time for the final part of... Live from Boreham Wood, it's the George Lowe's oh. <laughs> Sean and Jacob have had their go, uh, and then there was one. Paul was given Big Brother One as your specialist subject, weren't you, Paul? Yeah. Earlier on, he went up to the diary room, but before we reveal how he got on, like the others, we've paired him with the next housemate. Please welcome BB One's Darren. <laughs> Hello, Darren. How you doing, mate? You just became Darren's bigger. quite a big lump, actually. Right, OK, Watch Darren. yourself. You, you sit yourself down there, mate. Well uh, Darren, Thank are you, you feeling confident? <laughs> I'm not feeling confident after watching you with Alison. Right, with OK, thing. yeah, let's go over to the house. <laughs> Hello, Paul. Hello, Hello, Big Brother. Your special subject is Big Brother One. OK. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> one. How many housemates were there in total? Eleven. How many days in total were the contestants in the house? 64. Question three. How much was the, was the prize fund? £70,000. <laughs> what did the housemates do in their first ever task? They had to make clay cups and bowls. And if they crapped in the kiln, then they failed. <laughs> Question number five. Who came fourth? Melanie. <laughs> Question six. Which housemate received the highest eviction percentage of that series? Claire. <laughs> Question seven. What important <laughs> item did housemates <laughs> forget to order on their first shopping list? Toilet roll. <laughs> Question eight. Which housemate received the most nominations over the series? Craig. He is flying, isn't he, the boy? Question nine. What was the name of the E4 <laughs> reality show that Mel went on to host? Chained. It's a draw, it's a draw, guys. Let's see if we get Which names. comedian's get DVD the were the housemates treated to when passing a task? I deny this. Jack D. No! Yeah! Bobby Jenner!
really was Bobby Dabro. Right, we, we, we got a tie break situation. Darren, get yourself back over there. <laughs> right, friends, well done, Darren, everybody. Right, right, other right, Uber fans, other Uber fans. Didn't you come? Come, 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 other Uber fans. Quick, 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 quick. Right, OK. Uh, Sean, you might, you know what? You stay there, don't worry. You're not, you're not in it, mate. I'm sorry. Uh, well done anyway, Sean. Give him a quick round of applause. Right, guys, take these. Thank We've got a tie-break situation. Yes. I'm going to ask you a question. You're going to write a figure. Don't cheat, all right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you this. You have to tell me. The, to the, uh, to the close, closest to the figure wins, write down on the card, counting only the summer series and not BB7's Jonathan, how many male housemates have been in there? How many have there been? Not including BB7's Jonathan. How many do you think? You've only got ten seconds maximum, guys, quick as you can. Tell me how many you think. How many house, male housemates in total, not including one guy who wasn't in there in seven? Come on, come on. Right, OK, let, reveal, reveal. I can tell you right now, we've got a winner, ladies and gentlemen. It's Jacob, the answer was seven. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, join me tomorrow at six o'clock when I'll be joined by Dane Bowers and BB8 Brian Bellow. The main show is on Channel 4 tonight at 10 o'clock. And don't forget to uh, vote via the web for Michelle Dogface. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.